Bitch Made America is the promotion of weakness. And we have seen that a lot in TV and movies. So we got. I've been. I I did I did a a, a, a video called a live stream called Frail Males, and where they're promoting all these really skinny, delicate men, and and I've been seeing it a lot more lately. There are a lot of. Uh, a lot of depictions of these extremely frail men in movies. This is the Batman. Now, I don't know if it's uh, a good movie or not. I don't plan on seeing it because I really am trying to avoid these types of TV shows and movies. Now, look at his neck. Look at his neck. This guy is supposed to have spent... He looks like he's in his late 30s, early 40s. And he, he's, if he, this is Bruce Wayne, and he's supposed to look like a man who's, he's supposed to be a man who spent his life he spent his life showing He spent. He supposedly has spent his life getting strong, training to get revenge for the death of his family, right? And we see this guy. He's this gaunt, extremely frail-looking man who's... He looks more like a goth dude. And that's a feminine thing. And they seem to be promoting this this type of this frail look, this skinny bitch made attitude. And this is look how gaunt and bony he is. And you're gonna want me to believe this extremely frail looking, skinny, gaunt individual. It has spent his life training his body to take on multiple attacks from different people at a time, martial arts of all sorts, that he spent his life. This dude has no neck. He barely can hold himself, his head up. And I just don't believe that this is the types of depictions that we need to be seeing. These are, now, like I said, I'm not saying that the movie's bad, but you, if everything is psychological, and if you're going to be watching movies like that, you're going. They're trying to get you accustomed to thinking uh, of that being strong is this skinny, delicate individual. This is what they're pushing. Subconsciously, what back in the day we used to call that subliminal suggestion. And that's what this is. It's subliminally telling you you don't need to be this muscular individual that... And you can still kick butt. You can still be a badass. And I'm telling you, this is all fantasy. This is fantasy. And when is life... In in life, you're going to take this frail male ideology out into the world and you're going to be crying because it doesn't work. You, why doesn't it work? Because frail men are not what do not save the world from anything they don't and that's what they're pushing this frail male ideology and we see it in the Batman we've seen it in this Dune 
where you have these extremely frail men being the heroes. And if this keeps up, you're going to see men like Jason Momoa disappear from the movie industry, movie and, and, and TV industries. And all you're going to see is these delicate little men trying to play tough guy. You already see it in TV shows like Good Girls where the bad guy is an extremely skinny dude. You've seen it in, in TV shows like, like uh, Ozark where the men are these delicate, soft-spoken, frail-looking men. You've seen it. In all of these shows, there's another TV show called Travelers on Netflix that has these extremely emaciated, frail-looking men, and that's what's com coming. They're, they're, they're going to give you action to keep you watching, but they're going to subliminally hit you with these psychological warfare to get you to believe that you don't need to eat meat. You don't need... To, to work out. You don't need to be a strong individual. You could be a delicate, frail individual like this, a frail male, and you will be able to still succeed in life. You won't have to worry about it. But the problem with this is that there's still going to be men out in the streets. There's still going to be strong men out in the streets. So if you want to believe that... Psych that this is the way to go because you don't need men the, the, the illy ill that we've been suffering with restrictions and mandates for for the last two years if you think that that didn't show the world that you do need to be strong because you had all of these wackos out here. You never know when one of them is going to jump out. And this whole gender identity thing hasn't brought out a whole bunch of bigotry and hatred that you don't need strong men in the world to defend you from. I'm sure you don't want no police like this. You want a policeman who looks like this. You, you don't want these frail men defending you because they can't. You want someone like this defending you in the military, in the, fuck, in the, in the police, in the fire departments. So we need to stop pushing this because this doesn't get you anywhere. These individuals usually have weak mentalities. Frail males have weak mentalities. And if we're going to be pushing bitch madeness, it's not going to help you. Because even bitch made men are stronger than women. And we see it all the time. So I'm just saying, let's not do this anymore. Let's not do this anymore. This is a, a, a all right. 